Okay, you guys, I pulled out Libra Balance and Aquarius. I'm going to show you. This is how I do my readings. So, y'all believe me, you new subscribers, because you might not believe me, and I've always did this, okay? I've always did it. Oh, it's you, Libra, Aquarius, and Aries. Ooh, wow, we wooed it. You'll see this takes longer. That's why I like to lay out the reading, okay? Oh, well, I'm telling you more information. Oh, and then here comes Pisces Leo. So... Let me get some more, hang on. Let me get one more. One more. One more still. Who one more is? Shit. Who's one more? Who is one more? Who is the one more? Spirit, please. Oh, Spirit, it whip it. It says Sagittarius is who it is now. So, this is about you balancing out your masculine and feminine sides. And collaborating in your whatever your job is at the moment. Taking action to shine. You're very sensitive and you're expanding at the moment. Oh wow, well, and I love this spirit because it sounds so true, doesn't it, you guys? It sounds so true. And we're gonna see what pulls out for us. Don't you guys worry here. Let me mix these. 100 cards that I made. I'm going to mix all them cards that I just got out back in them. And flip them around and see what pulls out. Let's see what's in it, you guys. Oh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate y'all. And I hope I can give you a message. I'm doing a collection for you. Okay, you guys. Let's see what all it says. Okay. What do we want to talk about today? I made these new uh, yesterday, you all. Y'all only seen them in um, maybe maybe two readings. It's might only been one by yet though. I say it's only been one. Oh wow! Hang on, one fell over here. Oh gosh! Gosh, mighty! Oh, hang on a minute. What's going on, people? What, what is it? Oh. Woo! Any more message? Any more message? Do it. Alright, there's enough message. So we'll see what it's saying now. Oh, and it's got all the signs in it. I did put the signs in it yesterday. Okay. I already see some different energy pulled out, too. So it was more than just this energy. There's a lot more. Oh, wow. I'd say. Oh. It says put the blame where it needs to be placed. Somebody needs to listen to that. Sometimes you'll blame others, and, and they didn't even have any part in it, and you need to remember this, okay? This is about uh, endings and inheritances. So, you know, I think when you're in a relationship, you both need to put blame on each other for what you did, you know, what me and my old man did. You do need to do that if you're in a relationship. Um, but somebody could be going through an ending and maybe also getting an inheritance, somebody out here. And it said, your cousin tried to sneak around with your man or woman. Somebody's cousin out here did that. And it says, if your hand itches daily, you're getting ready to receive money from the vine. Oh, well, thank you for that spirit. I like that message. I know what that means. Oh, let your emotions flow like a waterfall. Pisces needs to do this. It landed it right on sensitive. And a cousin might have been an Aries since it landed on it. And uh, hang on a minute. And of course, it's about endings and inheritances. And Libra, it was about put the blame where it needs to be placed. And Leo, if your hand itches, you get ready to see money. And let your emotions flow like a waterfall, Pisces. And then it says Sagittarius. And you need to look and see if you got any of those signs in your birth chart, y'all, because you can come here and look 
add a message if you have any of these signs in your birth chart. Are you listening? And you can find a birth chart on, at Astro Cafe for free. You got to know your time of birth and, uh, you, you know, your birthday and your full name. It's Sagittarius. They're going through your trash, okay? Or a Sagittarius could be going through your trash. And then up here on Libra Balance, put the blame where it needs to be. It says Gemini. You're very logical. So maybe, Libra, you are going through something with a Gemini at the moment. And uh, Aquarius, Endings and Inheritances. It says you are so very beautiful and blessed. Thank you for that. Spirit, did you hear that? I love you, Spirit. I, I thank you. I'm Aquarius, you all. Oh, and over here, this is a Taurus Aries cusper because Taurus energy pulled out, and it could be that uh, uh, that your cousin is a Taurus or Aries, or that this Aries might have been or or Taurus sleeping around with your cousin. I don't know. Take the story as it goes. Don't get mad if it don't fit you. It don't fit you. So, uh, and you know, Taurus, you're money oriented, and here comes Leo. Shine. Oh. You get ready to receive money from a dirt bag, Leo. That's what it said. It's, it landed on it now. Hell, I can't help it. I don't know who it is. Don't get mad at me, y'all. I'm not mad at any of y'all. I don't know who that part is. I don't know. Oh, let your emotions flow like a waterfall, Pisces. And because for you, I would cut my hand off and never ride again. Oh, somebody loves you as much as to cut their hand off and they wouldn't ever write nothing else, Pisces. They love you that much. Oh, and my mommy's a Pisces. I love you, mommy. <laughs> oh, and what else? Oh, Sagittarius. Uh, you're generous with your affection, and somebody's going through your trash, Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is all generous with, with their affection. Because they're that fiery, feisty. And uh, Libra, the devil is mad because you don't want his prick. Oh. <laughs> so... Uh, Divine Feminine, somebody's mad because you don't want his prick. Oh, I don't know who that's for. And Aquarius, you know, something about opposite ends of the world. Oh, wow. Maybe you're getting a hurricane, Aquarius. Because they said, you're so very beautiful and blessed. They're leaving you some money on the opposite end of the world. Well, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? I don't know who that's for, Aquarius. It's some Aquarius out here. Could be me. You never know, people. Oh, and it said, your cousin sneaked around and Taurus was money-oriented. And it said, your energy is electrifying. Oh, wow. So, Aries, you got electrifying, zzz, fiery, passionate, divine, masculine, get off your ass, and fiery energy. And, uh, Empress and Emperor energy. Oh, wow. You're fiery, passionate. And it says the biomasculine was involved with a friend of yours from the past. Oh, it's dirt bag. This dirt bag fucked somebody in your past. Now, Leo, did you hear that? It's get ready to see some money. And you need to let your emotions flow like a waterfall, Pisces, and somebody cut the hand off for you. And and they might have poisoned your dogs. Somebody might have poisoned some Pisces dogs out here. Or Pisces poisoned your dogs. You got to take the story as it is. Or it might not even be, you know, any of that. And that's okay, too. Take the story as it is. Oh, it's Sagittarius. Let me get one more for Sagittarius. One more for Sagittarius. You are smart. You are caring. You are loved. Oh, yes, you are, Sagittarius. I love you, guys. You know that I know who I have. It's a Sagittarius, and I love them. And they're smart, caring, and they're, and they're loved. Yes, you're loved by me over here. For true. You know who I'm talking about. I love my family. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, wow. So, the way this energy's laying out, uh, you're logical. Your, your energy is electrifying. We've always got somebody in our family that wants to fuck her men. We all have that. You're very logical. Uh, you, you know how to put blame where it needs to be. You might be going through an ending and getting an inheritance, of course, from somebody from across the world because they think you're a beautiful soul and they love you for what you're doing. And your hand, it, your hands work miracles, they said. And, uh, 
people like the way you write. You're very smart and funny and loved. And somebody might poison you dogs now. Whoever's listening to me, you can take what it is. And somebody's a dirt bag around. And and uh, there's a this there's involved with somebody a friend from your past. This divine mask on was. Are you listening? Let me see. I'm trying to. Let me get one of these for each sign. One for who was that up? Oh yeah, Libra. One for Libra. One for Libra. Have one for Libra. Oh, courthouse Libra. You might have to go to court with this devil man or something. Some devil guy around that you don't want his winner no more. Uh, use your brain about this if it pertains to you or not. That's what logical mind means. Your common sense. If it pertains to you, it does. If it doesn't, it pertains to some other. Libra, maybe, but uh, put blame where it needs to be placed, and you might have to go to court now over something. It's glorious. What about glorious? What about glorious? Oh, well, Quotius had two flipped up on her. Oh, wow, well, this is about Venus. Maybe maybe you go to Venus, and of course, 11 11 twin flame. I love you. Do you know how much I love you? And I think you spirit for showing me that. And I made a wish. Oh, yeah, I just did. I made a wish. I made a wish. Cherish, enjoy. <laughs> you're very uh, charming and you know how to create art you're beautiful this is about your you're, you're uh, very uh, attractive and you just pl have a like having pleasure all the time if you're like me you know cherish the good times you all cherish cherish even if you you're toiling in labor at work you all i used to sing at work you can ask people i work with they'll tell you i used to sing at work and that would make the day pass by you know and when you do that you will get uh, messages from divine you will if you're listening to me so so sing while you work enjoy it because you're getting ready to go somewhere else maybe okay Somebody cherishes what you do for work. That's the way I'm reading it. Somebody cherishes you enough to give you some damn money. Oh, spirit. I love people. I love generous people out here at, at thinks about others, you know. And, okay, so Aries and Aries Taurus Cuspers, you're getting ready to receive a message. And, and it's going to make you feel, oh, electrifying when you receive this message. Uh... You know, and it could be about money, but it could be you're going to feel electrifying that you found out your cousin fucked around <laughs> with somebody that you know, okay? All right, and what about for Leo? Don't take it to heart if it ain't for you, it ain't for you. Oh, well, look, Leo. And it already said, uh, if you hand it, it you're going to get some money. Oh, wow, Leo, North Node, what about that? And was involved with a friend of yours from the past, the Von Maskell was, and there's a damn dirt bike. That's why you're on your ass journey to uh, sudden wealth. <laughs> Did you hear that? Somebody's just getting blessed from the vine with it. That's what that means because this dirt bag is going down and you're going to receive sudden wealth after he gets caught. Wow. Y'all go ahead and hit a little like and subscribe. I thought that was a good one, didn't you, Leo? Oh, wow. And let your emotions flow. Somebody cut their hand off for your right hands and somebody pulls at your dogs. And they better change, Pisces. You're getting ready to, uh, you're getting ready to change. And maybe, uh, the law is coming to you. Maybe your life pad number's at number nine, or maybe your birthday's on the ninth. You just gotta take the story as it is. Um, but maybe you're getting ready to move. Maybe you're getting ready to move. And what about Sagittarius? Thief. Thief, listen. Listen what it said, Sagittarius. There's a thief going through your trash. Are you listening? They're trying to find something on you. They're trying to find any little something on you. I hate how people do it. And why would you be that nosy? And I know that there was a thief trying to steal from my son. And you motherfuckers better stop because he's got cameras on you. I'm not talking about my loyal subscribers, you all. I'm talking about real people in the real world where you live around in your neighborhood, in my neighborhood. Not you all. I'm talking about real people. I know what they did. And you're somebody who's very loving and kind, and they might be trying to take your money. Are you listening? Because you're a generous down soul, just like your mommy. So I'm telling you right now, if y'all 1444, you better stop doing that shit. And it's somebody might be in your family, Sagittarius. Did you hear that? 444. 
cancer, you know? Think, think about who it might be. Whoever's there around you the most might be, you never know. Let's see. I know it ain't me, I know that for the month. It could be a Sagittarius is stealing from me, some other Sagittarius. You don't never know, you all, what goes on, on this, in this world, you know it? We never know. Until it hits us right freaking in the face, and then we down know, don't we? <laughs> Boy, ain't that true. Boy, ain't it. Oh, uh, of the flame. Ooh, electrifying. Look her. <laughs> Oh, that is pulling out. <laughs> uh, you know, this is about your health, your mental clarity, and good digestion. You're getting a, uh, a little fire of a glimmer of a spark again. That's what it is. You're getting a little spark again. Somebody's flame can never burn out for you. Somebody's flame can't. Hang on. I can't have seven spirit. I mean, give me one. Have one or only two. Just one or two. What? Let me get a drink. This is talking about the thread. This is about your path. And uh, the vein, the circuit. It says the circuit of meaning within chaos. So you're somebody that might have used to been able to thrive in chaos, and I know I did. I done told y'all I did a lot of dumb shit, drugging and partying and doing stupid, but, I mean, that was years ago. I raised my kids and put them through school, and they work, and they have their own houses, both of them. They own their own houses and vehicles, and I appreciate them. And they're very young, you all, and I'm proud of them, and I love them, man. Somebody... Uh, might have wanted to bind you to them. They're frustrated that they couldn't bind their energy to you, maybe. Maybe it is, maybe it is uh, your twin flame. Oh, it looks like the twin flames wanted to bind you to them, but I think that you and your twin flame are, at, are uh, you're all sparking it back again and um, or you figured out that this twin flame was what sparked all that chaos that's what it was all in his connection it is devotion and all and your heart be loved and devoted and swans make for life you know and that's how me and my old man is we make for life even after all the things we did to each other we don't care because we know how to we push through those challenges and a lot of people can't do that and they'll get upset because they can't and i just wish and pray you all all learn how to talk about your issues together. That's the only way to get through them, you guys. You know, you can't push them down forever. It'll blow up. That's why I used to do that. I'd push my emotions down, and that's why it's a fucking blow up and acting crazy, and I don't do that anymore, you know. <coughs> this is about upholding your tradition and protecting and honoring it, you know, and you might use a talisman or this is about an heirloom. You're getting something. It doesn't say it, um, endings and somebody might be passing away this is about you know you might be receiving some wealth from your lover that was your twin flame that you all was tied to from the beginning and y'all been on your house pipe and somebody might have something might happen but if they do they loved you they want you to know that if something was to happen to them they want you to know they loved you more than anything that's what it's saying this is about uh, structure and order. You're very coherent in logic at the moment. You and your twin flame is uh, structured. You're structured now. At one time, you might not be structured, but guess what? Now you are. Oh, and a queen come out. This is about the enchantment of grace, courage, resolve, and stillness. Y'all found, you found resolve in your stillness, and I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of you guys. You can do it, man. I'm proud of y'all. Somebody wants to be curious and play with you and be open, and they want to give you a surprise. Oh, wow, look at that. They want to give you a surprise from the creator. Maybe you're breaking out your creativeness at the moment and your artistic talents, you know, and you're an alchemist. You're, you're, you're an innovator. You're, you're innovating at the moment. You and your lover. You and your lover. Oh, wow. Oh, and then we got a gate. This is about you being a service 
to uh, spirit and to others and you honoring yourself and and you have a reverent faith and, and you're a joy you're very devoted and you got a lot of unconditional love about you and hey that is something to be treasured and I love you my twin flame and, and I'm glad that 1111 just come out over here for me and I got to see it because I know I got one I live with it and live with mine and we've been through a lot and we're, we're, we're devoted to each other and we know how to do things together and I appreciate him all the good bad and ugly I appreciate him I appreciate our connection everything we've learned from each other I appreciate him more than anything y'all just don't understand I appreciate him more than anything he loves me he loves me and I love him and, and we show our love I'm not gonna lie I show my love my twin yes I do I love him that's why I love him and nobody can take that away nobody they've been a lot of people try and they take they can't they can't take it spirit won't allow it spirit won't allow it i'm telling you right now they won't and we got an eternal connection from from the vine i know what it means i know what it means i know what it means oh wow what are we gonna talk about today I done discussed my husband and showed him where everything is at the Bible, and I know I stay on the truth, and he does too. But there is some karmic around. There's a karmic, karmic, what's karmic doing? Karmic wants to come to the living room. Oh, no, karmic. Oh, they want to bring you. They want to, the karmic wants to come to the living room and pretend they're loyal and break your heart. See the loyal dog and the woman crying? They want to come to your living room and break your heart. No, you can't do that, buddy. You can't do that, karmic man. Oh, uh, and karmic woman. It's two of them. It's man and woman. They both, both want to come break your heart. They both want to. Why do they have to mess with people's relationships? Calls, they got nothing better to fucking do except sit around outside all day and look out the window or something and that's why. That's how I'm reading that card right now. That's why. That's why. That's the only reason. And you're somebody that knows how to grow. You're teaching them about growing, maybe. Maybe they learn from you. And they want to pretend and, and they want to cause some problems and delays with you and your divine mask one uh, coming together, whoever's listening to me that ain't with their divine mask one, and that's not gonna happen. You cannot stop the divine, and I'm with these people. They want to be with their twins, and nobody's gonna fucking stop it, karmics. It's gonna happen for them right in their perfect time, and I love y'all, and I hope you get them, because you're going to. You're going to. Right when you think it ain't gonna happen, guess what? It's gonna happen for y'all, and I love you, because it will. It will. It will. They can't stop it. They think they can, y'all, but they can't. So this is about your journey. You've had a lot of fucking delays in your journey, and you know it. You know it, and it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Because look why. Look. Look, a journey, and you came a long way on that journey. And that's what this card means in this deck. A long way. See how he's went down that road. You come a long way on your spiritual journey. And... Oh, and you're receiving some more unexpected money. Ain't that something? We thank you for that. Don't we thank you? Don't we thank you? Oh, all of us out here, all these signs, we thank you. All right, you guys. Um, let me see when it might be coming, and that's all I do, y'all. 2333, we know how to manifest our dreams into life. Oh, wow. Oh, here's Aries and Leo. Look, so... Maybe Aries time, you're going to get you some wealth or Leo season. But this is talking about you started employing Pioneer and Spirit within yourself. Spirit is running amongst through you at the moment and you release the power of your heart and you're like, here I am, baby. So maybe you're Aries and Leo in love and something's going to happen in one week or one month or something's going to happen in five weeks or five months. you got to take the story as it is, you all. But somebody is on their journey to this. In one week or five weeks. Five months or one month. But somebody's getting it out here, baby. Now, you better believe it now. Let me give you a love message. And that's all I'm giving y'all, y'all. i got to hurry up and get off here. What's a love message? What's a love message? What's a love message? Love message. Oh, wowie wooey. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Oh, wow. They want to reconcile. Someone from your past has returned to your life. So this new love 
is uh, someone from a past life. That might not be this. That might not be this life. Are you listening to me? This new love isn't from this life. This new love is from the past, like way, way long ago. So you're all going to reconcile. That's what it means. So if you got Aries and Leo in your chart, it's for you all. One day it's going to happen. That's all I can tell you all. Oh, and you're all going to disconnect from the whole world and go off by yourself. And I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like it. Okay. So I hope y'all like what I did, you guys. And I love you. And peace. And if you love me and you're for me, go ahead and hit subscribe, you guys. And share it with people. And help me get around. I love you because I'm going to get prizes away at 500. I done told you. So when I get to 500, I'm going to put your all's names in a hat. Y'all got to give me your names, the ones that's wanting a deck, and, and, and I'll bless a deck, and I'll send it to you, okay? Well, I want, I'll, I'll put my hands on it, and I'll say prayer, and I'll send it to you, okay? Okay. I'll put your names in a hat and draw out and give it to that person. And I love y'all, and I thank you, and I'll see you back here in a little bit. And when I can do more, I will. And peace.